question is from Trisha. What role does healing play in deepening our spiritual and meditation practices? The concept that I work with regarding compassion is recognizing essence. Meditation helps one to recognize one essence by quieting the mind, at which point realize that we are much deeper than what our mind is in the first place. And the detachment of one's identity to the mind bring forth a deeper awareness of who you are. And I think that's the true meaning of compassion, recognizing the essence of who you are, your true self as being the space that manifests all forms. It's the space of experience itself, the space that provides the experience, whether it's the thought experience, a life event experience that tends to be seen toward those that are those that tend to be seen as suffering those life experiences are healed because you realize that they're all in your mind basically if you bring yourself to the present moment and ask yourself what is the problem of this present moment outside of one's mind Connecting, connecting to what, what what's going on in one in one's mind is pretty much everything's pretty smooth in the moment, and that's what meditation does. It brings you to that stillness. That's what a lot of other spiritual practices do. Prayer does the same thing. Following a guru does the same thing. Being of service does the same thing. All these spiritual practices, reading books about spiritual practices, spirituality in general, they all work towards healing. And yes, there is definitely a deepening. The more that you practice anything, the deeper you become a master at it. The same holds true for the spiritual practices that one may have. Over time, the thoughts are released and you become embedded in the sense of I amness, of beingness, of oneness, of unity, in which you become a beacon of healing for others. When they come into your presence, they sense something, they come to you, they ask you questions, they want to sit with you in your peaceful atmosphere, your peaceful aura, they comment on it. And it brings about, it, it, it contributes to the overall collective consciousness, the shift from hate to love. I believe we're going through right now at the moment. And you can even see hate as a loving thing because it shows you, again, helps you recognize your essence. It's another story. Thank you, Trisha, for this question. There's been a lot of questions that have been asked. I reached out to a few people to ask them and also while I'm doing sittings at the Corner. There are those that continue to come by and ask questions, so I thought I'd post these so that they may be disseminated and the wisdom can be shared with others. If you'd like to ask a question, leave it in the comments below, whether this is on Facebook, YouTube, or wherever, and I will answer them to the best of the ability of wisdom that's been provided. Thank you 
Steve once again from 